guys, it's Carla. Welcome to our magazine called in Action. In this time, we are prisoner for edition. Oh. In this new edition, there are amazing and incredible things. And we are very excited because this time we are filming from home. Yes, filming from home. Join us in this new experience. And but before I will give you a spoiler. In the distance, Colleja speak English. Now, yeah, let's start. Thank you, Carla. We also would like you to know that we have prepared this edition with so much love and effort. We have made use of our best ideas, attitudes and abilities with the English language in order to show you that it is possible to create different forms to be near each other, be a family and learn new things. Because in the distance, Colija speaks English. Well guys, for the fourth edition, we are going to be talking about these topics. The first one is related to some recommendations to be physically and mentally healthy at home. Then, you are going to see a video clip made by our 7th grade classmates about how they spend their free time. Next, we will give you some tips to organize the time, space and educational activities. After that, you will see the second part of the video clip about how our 7th grade classmates spend their free time. And finally, we will be speaking about how we can use the virtuality to learn and take advantage of free time. Let's begin! Hi, Brenner and everybody! These are the tips we recommend you to be physical and mentally healthy. Number one, create a new routine which involves a brain activity. Not only that one related to school, but also in a business and active puzzle. Number two, read a book about a favorite topic. For example, I suggest you read 100 Years of the Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez or The Da Vinci Code by Da Brown. Three, take care of all time for sleeping, resting, or feeding. Thank you, Sian. We also suggest you. Number one, Enjoy the time with your family, either playing, seeing movies, or talking. Number two, explore different artistic expressions such as painting, dancing, or singing. Number three, allow ourselves a space to play, either with board games, abstract reading activities, or video games. Now, we continue with Michelle, who is going to show us a short video. Thank you, Rainer. You are right. Hi friends, my name is Michelle. As you know, in our school, we have creative and very intelligent classmates. Let's see what kind of activity the seventh grade classmates do to spend their free time. We hope you enjoy it. Colijas, virtual girls, we speak English. Hi, my name is Luis Rosada. Today I will speak about how I spend my free time. In my free time, I lie down. I can watch TV. I watch TV. I play instrument. To music, I can do shorts. I can watch TV. In my free time, I like a study. I can play cards. I can swim. Goodbye, teacher. I I can drag. I can talk to my friends. Thank you. Work. I can read. I can play games. I like shopping. I can sing. I can play with my friends. Bye. Hello, you guys. Welcome to this section. Today we'll bring you some tips to organize your time with the school activities so you are get bored at home and make it a little more fun. Make a to-do list of the tasks and activities you must to do per day or per week. Number two. Identify distractions in your environment, such as social networks, television, loud music. This way you can avoid them and focus better. Number 3. Set a schedule that best suits you to study and do your activities. Tip number 4. Organize your spice society is always clean. That add with the things you need at your fingertips. Tip number 5. Be constant, dynamic, and varied with the activities you must do. Tip number six, don't waste your free time or your rest time. Your body and mind need your rest. Well, guys, what do you think about the tips? They are great, and I think to them all. Tell us which one are you going to do? We continue with just Steven. 
Thank you, Carla. We continue with the second part of the short video of how we can spend our free time. In Colima, I give my classes in real estate English. Hi, my name is Sofia Tiano. I am in the seventh grade. Today, I will speak about how I spend my free time. In my free time, I like playing video games. I can read it. I can watch the television. In my free time, I like that dress sport. I can share with family. I can share my books. In my free time, I like reading. I can dance. I can cook. Thank you. In my free time, I like to play with toys. I quit ride in the house. I quit water and play. In my free time, I can cook. I like to play video games and I can read. I can spend time with my family. I can play soccer. I can play with my family. I can order in my room. I can sing a book and I can watch TV. Thank you. Hello guys, in this section I will be showing you the experience that three people from our school have lived in this time for virtual pedagogical meeting. They are a teacher, the school counselor and a student. Let's start! Hello teacher Fabian, I hope you are well. Tell us how you experience in this virtual pedagogical meeting. Have been in these days? Mi experiencia en las clases virtuales ha sido todo un proceso de mejoramiento continuo. Al principio, el proceso fue difícil en cuanto a la utilización de las nuevas tecnologías. Pero teniendo en cuenta que uno de los ejes de la lengua, de la lengua castellana es la ética de la comunicación y los medios de comunicación y otros sistemas simbólicos, se ha dimensionado las clases virtuales dentro de esta tónica, que sea un proceso ético, tanto por parte de los docentes, como por parte de los estudiantes. Thank you very much for your participation, teacher Fabian. Now, let's continue with asking the same question to one of my classmates, Ruth. Tell us, how has been your experience in these virtual pedagogical meetings? Hola, Michelle. Para los que no me conocen, mi nombre es Ruth Díaz, estudiante del grado 10. Pertenezco a la institución educativa integrada Juan Atalaya. Mi experiencia en las clases virtuales ha sido como la de todos, nueva. No puedo negar que al principio fue complejo ponerme al día con los talleres, pues no sabía cómo manejar mi tiempo. Pero con la adecuada organización he podido mejorar mi aprendizaje. Extraño las clases presenciales y compartir tiempo de calidad con mis compañeros y profesores. Pero por el momento daré lo mejor de mí desde mi casa. Thank you very much, Ruth. The first person who will interview the school counselor, Ricardo Suárez. Tell us, how do you organize your time at work and at home for having the opportunity to achieve what you propose in your daily routine? Buen día. En cuanto a la pregunta formulada eh, de cómo dividir el tiempo con la vida personal, es complicadito debido a que el docente orientador tiene múltiples funciones no solamente con la comunidad educativa, en este caso los estudiantes, padres de familia, sino también funciones a nivel de directivos, docentes, administración y unos criterios de coordinación en sede central. Entonces debemos ser muy asertivos en la planificación de las tareas, tenemos que trabajar muy bien en equipo para poder comprender las rutas y cumplir con los logros establecidos de nuestras funciones y nuestras obligaciones con la institución educativa. Well, we finished the interview section with a very special thanks to all of you for participating with our opinions. Now, my partner Jose Luis will be with you. Hi friends, I want to share with you the results of a survey I conducted with the purpose of knowing how people are using the virtual media. Let's see them. Classes via WhatsApp. 40%, videos on YouTube, 26.6%, digital platforms, 20%, authors, application, 13.3%. Well, 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 guys, we have come to the end of this magazine. It's so sad to say goodbye, but we hope you have enjoyed this time with us, and definitely we hope you to see you again in the next opportunity. Don't forget to share this video and subscribe to our channel And remember, in the distance, Kaliha speaks English. Bye!